Jenny Hyun. I don't know if anybody's been keeping up with that drama. Okay, I only saw it because uh, some uh, YouTuber I am subscribed to had a rant about it, and I was like, oh, might as well check it out, see what's going on. And then I was like, whoa, it's crazy. So I've been keeping up with that a little bit. I mean, not I'm not outwardly actively searching it. It's just if it pops up in front of me on my Facebook or something, I'll look at it. Most like uh, just like most K-pop news, I'm just like I really don't keep up with it if it's not rain, unless it's just there and it looks interesting. Well, I think the only side I really keep up with is Soul Beats because I really like it. They share a lot of good opinions and stuff. So anyway, if you don't know who Jenny Hoon is and you don't know the drama, I'll try to shorten it. She is a singer-songwriter for SNSD and Chocolate. Or Chocolate. So it's whatever. Uh, so she kind of works with uh, SM Entertainer. Uh, SM Entertainment. <laughs> you already know I have beef with them, so um. Anyway, so I uh, guess there's this whole hype. I think it started with this whole hype about Jeremy Lin, a uh, basketball player. And I guess the hype around him is because he's Asian and he's really good, and you know that doesn't really happen often. It's like uh, Yao Ming all over again. So, except he's not like you know freakishly tall. <laughs> so, um. So I guess some guy commented about it in a slightly racist way, uh, like uh, there's other black basketball players that play just as good as him, but the hype is only around him because he's Asian or something like that. So Jenny jumped in on this and commented and she just went overboard. Like, I, I honestly don't even remember what the, the original guy said, like, or I'd have to look back to remember what he said, but it was nothing compared to what she had to say. She just, she pretty much gone to Hitler status, like, she wanted to be Hitler, she wanted to make genocide on the black race, and you, you see, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, not pale. Well, I'm pale for a black person, according to my father, but <laughs> it's beside the point. She went overboard and she seemed very racist, psychopathic, crazy. So all of this got po was on her Twitter and it got posted lots of places for people to see. And now there's a, there's a petition blacklisting her. And last night my friend told me there was over 2,000 signatures on it just that one day, and I'm pretty sure it increased by now. So it went from her wanting to get rid of all the black people to, oh I'm sorry I crossed the line, but I'm not sorry for what I said, apology, apology. That apology got deleted on her Twitter, I think it's uh, deactivated or something, and now there is a new post saying she's schizophrenic and we took her to the hospital, so we're really sorry for what she said, this is from her family or whoever posted, and I don't know, I'm torn. At first I was like, I don't care if she apologized. I mean, if she apologized, I still wouldn't accept it for what she said. I mean, but then the way she apologized really didn't want me to, like, accept it because it wasn't a real apology. It was, like, uh, oh, I'm sorry I crossed the line, but I'm not sorry for what I said. I thought it was going to be like, I'm sorry for the way I said it. No, it wasn't even like that. So, I, I don't know. And now, with the whole, we checked her in the hospital because she's schizophrenic, is, I'm like, okay, either she really does have, like, a mental illness, or they're just making an excuse, like, a lot of people do, lately. Like, everything 
is excused with some sort of sickness, mental sickness, which is insane. Like, oh, uh, your kid's all jumping around all over the place, knocking over toys in the store, and yelling and screaming and being a brat. Oh no, he just has, you know, H ADHD. No, it's, it's excuse. I mean, he might not. He's just hyperactive and bad, and you're just not setting, you know, guidelines for him. I mean, it seems like um, Americans just want to put everyone's problems and categorize it into a mental sickness. It doesn't work like that all the time. You can't excuse every bad thing people do with some mental sickness, because it's not. It's a terrible excuse. You just need to own up to that they did something bad and not label it as, oh, they're schizophrenic or bipolar or something. No. You you need to tell them, hey, you need to apologize for what you said or just not speak at all or do whatever you just did. I mean, what if I went over and, you know, just, you know, suffocated a baby with a plastic bag and... And my mom just, you know, told everyone, oh no, she's, you know, she didn't mean to do that. I mean, she's just, you know, bipolar. I mean, we just need to get medication for that. No, no, there, there's totally nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I was probably, you know, in my right mind and I just want to do it because there's, because I'm an evil person or something. I mean, uh, th this, this is totally hypothetical. I would never suffocate a baby. I'm a very nice person. <laughs> I promise. This is just an example. Don't make excuses for people's actions with mental sicknesses. It's so stupid. And even it's up there with like watching those pageant kids on like Tallies and Eras, Tierras, where the kids are like complete brats and they're just. Their, their mothers are just like, oh no, she just has a big personality. She's just a diva. I'm like, no, your kid is bright. You need, you need to go take your child back and have a stern talking with her, or or a spanking, whichever suits the situation. But yeah, labeling the problem as this person has a big personality is a diva and just laugh it off, or being all sorry and apologetic and labeling it as this person has a mental sickness when it clearly it's just this person just has a problem and they haven't been told that this is wrong so I mean I can understand there's still ignorant people out there that are still you know racist which is crazy in the year 2012 People need to get over this. I mean, there's different people everywhere, and everyone needs to just accept each other because life is too short to hate. I mean, you don't have to like them, or love them, or be around them. Just tolerate them without being ugh, vicious, I guess. 